I really wished I didn't have to say this, but it has got to be the ultimate disappointment in all of aerospace. The Boeing Starliner has once again caused frustration by feigning confidence, despite facing issues with its official missions and new financial setbacks. In contrast, SpaceX has made another significant stride showing off its continuous reliability with its upcoming Dragon mission, further highlighting Boeing's inferiority and impending spiral towards obsolescence. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, China is preparing for another bold play by preparing to launch its previously exploded rocket again. This episode is jam-packed with excruciatingly enticing updates, so buckle up for today's installment of Great SpaceX. It's been nearly 60 days since Starliner docked with the ISS, and despite extensive testing and evaluations, the spacecraft has yet to return. In the face of ongoing scrutiny and criticism from the aerospace industry, Boeing remains optimistic. Recently, on X, Boeing tweeted, we remain confident in Starliner and its ability to safely return to Earth with crew based on abundance of testing conducted by our teams and NASA in space and on the ground. The tweet included an image detailing eight notable activities related to the testing of Starliner's propulsion system and associated systems. Boeing also provided a detailed update on their continued efforts. Basically, Boeing asserted, we continue to support NASA's requests for additional testing, data, analysis, and reviews to affirm the spacecraft's safe undocking and landing capabilities. Our confidence is based on this extensive and valuable testing from both Boeing and NASA. Boeing also reported that testing has confirmed 27 of 28 RCS thrusters are fully operational, with the propulsion system maintaining redundancy and stable helium levels. The data also supports root cause assessments for previous issues with helium and thrusters, as well as flight rationale for Starliner's safe return with crew. In contrast, NASA's recent actions suggest a potential shift in plans. Estimates indicate that there is a 50% or higher chance that astronauts might return on a Dragon spacecraft. NASA official Josh Finch commented to Ars Technica, NASA is evaluating all options for the return of HSC astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams from the International Space Station as safely as possible. No decisions have been made, and the agency will continue to provide updates on its planning. As we await further updates, it seems Boeing may be attempting to bolster confidence in Starliner, particularly with NASA as a key stakeholder. The effectiveness of their measures and whether they truly address the root cause of the delays remain to be seen. Despite Boeing's assurances that Starliner's RCS thrusters and propulsion system are functioning correctly, the spacecraft's return date remains undetermined. Boeing's recent updates and ongoing activities appear to be focused on future evaluations rather than immediate resolutions. The postponement of the Starliner 1 mission to August 2025 further suggests that current efforts might not be addressing the core issues effectively. Do you agree with this perspective? Please respond with yes or no in the comment section down below. Don't forget to also like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's progress. On the financial front, Boeing is facing additional challenges. In a filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, on July 31st, Boeing reported a further 125 million U.S. dollar charge related to Starliner. This charge is attributed to delays in the Crew Flight Test, or CFT, mission, highlighting ongoing financial pressures amid the spacecraft's continued delays. The recent $125 million charge is likely just a fraction of Boeing's broader financial troubles related to Starliner. Since 2024 alone, the spacecraft has faced multiple delays and ongoing issues, contributing to mounting losses. The current challenges in returning astronauts underscore the broader difficulties Boeing has encountered with Starliner. This recent loss is part of a pattern of significant financial setbacks for Boeing. Last year, Starliner faced parachute and wiring issues that delayed its mission to 2024, resulting in a $257 million loss in the second quarter of 2023. Boeing's financial struggles have been accumulating since 2019, a particularly challenging year with a $489 million loss from uncrewed test flight issues. Including the latest $125 million charge, Boeing's total losses now amount to $1.6 billion US dollars. Even outgoing CEO Dave Calhoun acknowledged the company's difficulties, stating, Clearly, the results this quarter are disappointing. 
We expect the fixed price development programs to remain bumpy until we complete the development phase and transition to mature long-term franchise programs. Boeing is currently facing significant challenges in securing future fixed price contracts due to its recent performance. Calhoun remarked, Based on the lessons we've learned from undertaking fixed price development programs, we have maintained stringent contracting discipline for all future opportunities. However, this approach aligns with NASA's current contracting practices, potentially exacerbating Boeing's difficulties. In addition to financial strains, Boeing is on the brink of further upheaval with the impending departure of CEO Calhoun, who will be succeeded by Robert Kelly Ortberg, a seasoned aerospace engineer. Leadership transitions often bring about substantial changes which may further complicate Boeing's situation. A successful uncrewed flight remains one of Boeing's few accomplishments at this stage. The completion of the current crew test mission is critical for Boeing to obtain certification for subsequent phases, including NASA's commercial crew program missions. Furthermore, the delay of the Starliner 1 mission is attributed not only to issues with CFT-1, but also to the need to coordinate with the Dragon Crew 11 launch schedule. This delay underscores Boeing's struggles in keeping pace with competitors, specifically SpaceX. The delay in the Starliner 1 mission will likely have significant financial repercussions for Boeing. The additional costs incurred could push the total losses associated with the Starliner program to $2 billion or more. This continued financial strain underscores the challenges Boeing faces as it struggles to meet deadlines and fulfill contractual obligations. With the International Space Station slated for retirement by 2030, time is running out for Boeing to deliver on the Starliner program. The recent delay in the Starliner 1 mission further compresses the available time frame, placing additional pressure on the company. The possibility of cancellation for the Starliner project is increasingly realistic especially in light of NASA's budgetary constraints. As NASA's annual budget is expected to decrease in the coming years, the agency has already made aggressive cuts to several projects, including the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the Viper Lunar Rover. Given the ongoing issues and disappointments associated with Starliner, it faces an uphill battle to justify continued investment. While canceling a fixed contract project is complex and politically charged, Significant failures and mounting costs can lead to reconsideration of such commitments. Do you believe NASA should cancel the Starliner program? If so, comment cancel it to share your opinion. In contrast to the ongoing challenges faced by Boeing's Starliner, SpaceX has recently made significant strides with its Dragon program. On August 1st, NASA announced the crew for SpaceX's Crew-10 mission to the International Space Station, marking an important milestone for the program. The Crew-10 mission will feature NASA astronauts Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers, who will serve as commander and pilot, respectively. Joining them will be Japan's Takuya Inishi and Kirill Peskov from the Russian space agency Roscosmos, both of whom will act as mission specialists. Notably, this will be the first spaceflight for Ayers and Peskov, while McLean and Onishi will be embarking on their second space missions. As the 10th operational mission under SpaceX's commercial crew program, Crew-10 will utilize the Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon capsule, continuing SpaceX's track record of successful ISS missions. Currently, SpaceX is executing its 8th contracted, long-duration ISS mission and is preparing for the launch of Crew-9, scheduled for no earlier than August 18. With Crew-10 set for early next year and Starlander 1's schedule pushed to the latter half of 2025, SpaceX's Dragon is poised to further solidify its position in the ISS mission lineup, potentially widening the gap between it and Boeing's Starliner. Next, we turn to an update from China, where the country remains resolute in its plans to launch the Tianlong-3 rocket, despite a recent failure. On June 30th, Chinese commercial launch firm Space Pioneer faced a major setback during a static fire test of its Tianlong-3 kerosene liquid oxygen rocket. The test was mared by an anomaly that caused the booster section to dislodge from the static fire platform, then fall from several meters and explode. The resulting shockwaves impacted nearby areas, though fortunately there were no reports of loss of life or significant property damage. Despite this incident, Space Pioneer appears determined to proceed with Tianlong 3's first launch. This approach is highly risky given the issues encountered during the test. 
Typically, such failures would necessitate additional testing to ensure the rocket's reliability before moving forward. Chinese regulations, which are intended to enforce safety standards, currently do not fully address the risks posed by such incidents. The leniency in these regulations have enabled Space Pioneer to seek a path toward resuming their launch schedule. The prospect of rocket launches in populated areas understandably causes concern among the Chinese public. Ensuring safety should be the paramount consideration, and it is crucial for stronger measures to be implemented to prevent further incidents and protect lives. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.